I'll be the stager for this house. And I want to show you some interesting things and in how we think about the process so that you can more easily in your own market or uh, just sort of learn why home staging is important for realtors. I feel like this is a great house to use as an example for why home staging is really important in today's market and really any market, but especially today's market, uh, often investors think that they do not have to stage right now because there are so many buyers in the market and so few properties that every property is just getting snapped up right away. So this is the main living room. It's the room when you first walk in to the space. And if you take a look at the room, it's just sort of a nice big rectangle. Now what some other staging companies do is they sort of formulaically lay out their room and they do a sofa, a rug, two chairs, uh, a small console, two pieces of art, two side tables, and a coffee table. And, and we think of things a little bit different. So one of the first things that we try to do is we try to look at the neighborhood and determine who is most likely to live here and what they're gonna look for in a space. You can kind of see the cars that are driving by and the um, other houses in the area. So when we think about this house, one of the things that we know is it's a three bedroom, two bath. It's price point, they wanna sit and watch TV when they come home. So the things that we're thinking about are, we're gonna get maximum seating. The rules require that you have at least three bedrooms. We're gonna have at least seating for four in here. So that's standard. Sofa, two chairs would work, but we always want to increase the value for our customers. Good staging is all about creating a perceived value for the buyers who are purchasing the property. Focusing on the buyer demographics rather than a formula creates that additional value, both for the buyers and the sellers. And then we have this additional wall. Most other staging companies leave that wall blank because they don't feel that it adds anything to the space. No, that's my bar. Richard says, I want a bar. But what we like to do is show extra purpose and fill up the space a little more so it feels cozy, it feels warm, and it feels inviting. Now we've come to the dining area. And it's actually for the house a pretty decent space. So again, typical staging companies just put in a table, four to six chairs, and leave it there. We really wanna show space and make this house feel bigger because space sells. So we're still gonna do a dining room table, six chairs, but we're gonna get a skinny console here and um, actually increase the visual space. And when we come into the room, we see we have this little bit of wasted space and we've got a light switch, so we can't really go up much higher than the light switch. So we're gonna look for a piece of furniture that we can put here so that we can, again, show more space. Okay, so the cleaners just arrived, so that's handy. Um, so uh, you might see them in the video. We're just gonna ignore that and keep, keep going. So what we actually got here is uh, the kitchen and it's fairly small, like I said. So adding a little bit of additional storage space, people are looking and feeling that the kitchen is small. They're seeing extra places where they can store items. So as I plan for the stage, in the kitchen, what I'm actually doing is uh, I don't want to have to figure out what's going to actually go in the kitchen yet, so I plan spaces. So a space is about every 12 to 18 inches, and so I'm looking at one, two, three spaces here, one, two, maybe here, and then three. So definitely six, maybe up to seven spaces that I'm going to have to pack for when I'm in the warehouse. Okay, so next we have this small room off the kitchen, and um, in this little in this little room here, there is it's clearly the laundry room. So we have this extra room that what are we going to do with? Most other staging companies do nothing because it's not part of their package, and it, um, we actually typically stage the whole house again because houses are going fast. A lot of people are going for the less expensive option. And this is a good example of why not. Okay, so in this space, this is a great space for home office. The, and then I've got this wall here. So here I'm gonna wanna put some kind of um, bookshelf or something in this area to again denote more storage in the house. Okay, so this is the first bedroom. It's not the master. 
Um, there's three bedrooms here. One, two, that's the master. We've got a bath here, and then we've got another bath in the master. So we're gonna look at this first bedroom, and instantly my head goes to wanting to put the bed against this wall. It's the longest wall, it doesn't have a window, um, and so my, my thought goes to putting the bed on that wall. That's the easy solution. The problem is that when I put the bed on that wall, to put a dresser here on this long wall, which is really the only other wall that can hold a dresser, that's too skinny and it would interfere with the closets. Um, that's too skinny, it would interfere with a nightstand. So if I put a bed here, I either make the room really tight by putting the dresser here, or I have to eliminate a dresser, which is often what many of the other staging companies do is they just eliminate the dresser. Well, the problem is, again, we don't have the storage solution that buyers want today. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna break the rule um, and, and put a bed in front of a window. I know we hate that, but our goal is to maximize the room layout, okay, to create value for the consumer. So we're gonna put a bed in front of a window, but we have to make sure if we're doing that, that we're putting a headboard. And if I put the bed off of this window, then it gives me the opportunity to actually put a, a, a long dresser and a mirror against this wall, creating again, more storage. The bathroom is easy. All we're gonna do is hang a shower curtain, sh shower rod. We're gonna put some art here and we're gonna put some tchotchkes on the either side and some towels on the towel rod. Moving on to bedroom two, we're looking at a similar situation. We have a window, we have a window, we have this long wall, and then we have a little tiny short wall here. So if I look at this and I think about the bed, where do I want the bed? If I put the bed on this wall, then I have no place for a dresser. But actually what I'm gonna do in this room is I'm gonna put the bed off of here. Don't break the rule, we're looking out the window. I can fit a full size bed there with at least one nightstand. I have a plug for my electricity and I can put a small, a tall dresser on this wall and I can put a small bench under here. Again, maximizing the space. You walk in, the bed is over here. It's not the biggest thing that you see in the room. And what you'll actually see is a tall dresser, something attractive and a bench seating, which actually makes this room feel larger. Okay, so this is the master space. And once again, we're greeted with the same thing, offset windows, and this is the only wall for a dresser. So with this being the only wall for a dresser, the rest of the layout becomes pretty obvious. We'll use small mirrors to balance the offset window and soft colors to create an on-trend master retreat. And then this is our master bath. Um, again, this is just gonna be a standard with no artwork and two tiny sides. Now, I wanna talk about the hallway for a second because a lot of times we do actually put a piece of furniture in the hallway and the hallway just isn't quite wide enough. Plus we have, would have to contend with this electrical panel, which by law, we are not allowed to put anything in front of while we are selling the house. Um, so for staging, we are not gonna address the hallway at all, but I do wanna say that very frequently in homes like this, the hallway is a great place to add additional storage. Quality home staging is a long process. It takes a lot of work by many people. It takes access to really good furniture for multiple demographics, multiple architectural styles, and a clear understanding of how buyers live in a house. It's more than putting furniture in a house. It's understanding the nuances of each room and what buyers want to get from their new home. At Rave Home Staging, we have a team of qualified experts who focus on getting our clients the most money for every home they stage. If your focus is on how much money you spend, there are certainly less expensive staging companies out there. If your focus is on how much money you're gonna make or how much your return on your investment is going to be, then give us a call at 904-379-5523 or you can find us anywhere on the internet under Rave Home Staging. We look forward to hearing from you soon.